Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Hi. I'm and just you've got looking. Some really lovely things, haven't you? I've got some lovely things that have arrived, and I'm just hoping that Julie might come over to join us because she found another live on our group and said hello on that one. So I'm oh. hoping. <laughs> I've just messaged Julie to say you're on the other live. I think Steph, you did that once. <laughs> Joined us on another live. How are we all doing? Oh, Everybody I'm glad it's Thursday, aren't you? Oh yes, nearly the weekend. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Julie. <laughs> oh, hi, Helen. <laughs> hi, Margaret. Yeah, Helen, I'm hoping Julie's going to see the message and come and join us on this one. <laughs> it sometimes comes up at the top of the group and then it confuses everyone. And we were five minutes late because we were looking at some of these new goodies that have come in because you know you know we like to tempt you so i will um i'll just talk you through what we've got so we have just become official carabelle studio stockist which is very exciting um comes across from france and so these um most of them are up on the website there's just a few more that are going to go up this evening ah yes julie you found us i was just telling everybody that um you were on another live and um i think steph's done that before so don't worry it's not you're not alone <laughs> oh julie you've been watching corey i must admit i don't watch the soaps anymore i used to i used to follow them i stopped a while ago i found them a bit yeah. too didn't get in to get into them but um yeah so just a quick um little talk through so yeah you've spotted the large triangle one steph underneath and um, I'm going to go straight to these large ones, actually, because we have managed to source these from Carabelle Direct. Um, these sold out a while ago. This is mine and Debbie's, our most favourite stencil. Absolutely. And Steph, I know you have done a DT layout with this one. So this is uh, Birgit Coopson for the Love of Layers. So that's up on the shop. And then, yes, you spotted this one. This is like the geometric so a4 size and the geometric one yeah That's love that really unusual, isn't it? yeah well steph you say this is the only one but then i thought of you because you use yours to create a circle and look at this one this is a ready-made that is kate crane that one so slightly different to the other one the other one's Birgit coopson but love that that's typical Kate Crane mixed media background, isn't it? It's just lovely. It and I loved how Steph used the A4 one to create a circle, yeah. which is lovely. These are all um, A5. Um, I love that. Um, they are, um, and they're so hard wearing. I've used mine with all sorts. Um, yes, yeah, so wood, all rainbow. I reckon that would be great in all rainbow colours, oxide. So we've got this one, which is... Um, uh, Hearts Mask. Um, this one is Kate Crane, Noughts and Crosses. And then that is her leaf line. I quite like that one. This one I love. Um, back gap ground textures. I know quite a lot of people like using mixed media on their scrapbook layout. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing what people make with these. That oh, one like is... That one that's kate crane as well so those yeah. so not only does we, um kate do the stamps but we've got her stencils as well beautiful can see that um on a background um with photo and some embellishments that would be nice and then these now this is <gasps> this is my fave yes um, I think. that one now you're better at french than i am jus d'ombre was this Debbie? <laughs> Jumbrel, is it um i think it might be the underside of mushrooms ah because it almost reminds me like those little japanese umbrellas you see yeah oh perhaps it is then perhaps umbrellas parasols it reminded me of mushrooms yeah and this one's like ammonites yes that's lovely as well isn't it love that and then this one is cordage lovely so lots to tempt yes oh you see fireworks yes yeah, it's, it's that would be great for a fifth of november um 
backgrounds, yes. wouldn't it? This one and would you haven't be... even got the stamps out yet, Faye. I know we've got stamps as well. This is just too oh. tempting because this right, Steph, you might have a little um moment with this. Look at this one. Look at this. Just beautiful. Uh, Debbie has purchased one of these because she I couldn't have. resist. Look at that. That is just I can see this cut out layered on a scrapbook layout background. And then we stick with the kind of mixed media style. So we just love Birgit Coopson's style. So those, we've had that one before, but it's sold out. Oh, Steph, are you, are you out, Steph? You can feel an order coming on when you get home. I thought, I thought this would be too tempting. It's just painful, isn't it? And now we are Carabelle stockists. We can get them shipped from France, which is very exciting because they are beautiful. So those are um a seven no hang on those are a, a five five those because then the smaller ones are a six aren't they and these yes. are little ones so these those are budget lines are so cute that's her brand new range which is why is it more expensive because it's it's a lot more expensive from carabelle but aren't they beautiful lovely Ah, you're away for the weekend. Oh, birthday money, Steph. Brilliant. And then these, which are just too cute. These are the smallest stamps. Look at this, the little Kate Crane. The little oh, Kate Crane cute. cup. Little cupcake. How cute is that? And then I thought these were quite nice to build up a background. This one's yes. called Love, Love, Love. That'd be nice on a tag, wouldn't it? Built up. Yeah, and then on a scrapbook layout or on a birthday card would be nice. And they it? are all on um, easy mount foam, so they just go onto an acrylic block. So yeah, that's that's tempted everybody now. That has uh, that has all just landed onto the website. So do have a browse a bit later. Right, so we're on to. We're on to this evening's project. So we've got our cut file. I've got my, you've done more prep than I have. I've done a little bit of prep just because I'm not good with fussy cutting, but I did get my cutter bees out. I, I can't recommend these. I can't enough, find mine at the moment. I put them somewhere so safe. Yours are somewhere, somewhere very safe. We're safe, Peter, because you know what I'm like with fussy cutting. So we thought we would use the range um i think julie you said some of you you've got some of these papers this is um the 49 and market art options avesta papers which i love these are in the shop at the moment and what we thought we would do is cut the inner piece out fussy cut it and then maybe we were thinking we might put a cut file layered behind it this time. Use the cut file in a different way and cut pieces yeah, out. How personally did you cut yours, Faye? Right. Well, I wasn't... You know how I feel about fussy cutting. A slight border. Slight pink So I'm going to start with the there. Gold to start me off, I think. Oh. oh, you've got your big bite out. Does anybody oh, right. still own the big bite? Stuff. Yeah, I still own the big bite and a crocodile actually, and I still use them. I love it. Oh, you'd never get rid of your big bite, surely? No, no, always needed. So I thought that would work quite well. So I'm going to start backing my cut file while you cut your I'm going to have to seriously find my cutter bees because the, this isn't cutting it as yeah well. you need to get the cutter bees ah Julie you saw Sheena Rowland use it I'll have to um have a look at hers I met Sheena at Crop in the Country um a few months back but it is lovely beautiful quite a bright pink on the back but I like that wreath so I thought I might well, use the centre. So I, I kept the centre, Deb, because I'm going to use the centrepiece to back some oh, of the just look in, it's, it's a lovely colour, isn't it? Yeah, so definitely yeah. keep that. 
we can make use of that. Right, I've got my pencil at the ready. Now we thought, didn't we, that we might just use some of the cut file. Yes, just a little bit. So that we've got some heart. So I'm only going to use it to here. Um, kind of here. So I'm going to only back that top piece. I don't need to. What would it be like if we used the reverse of this behind it? Yeah, this pink. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to use a bit of that. I'm going to use a bit of the green. Right. Because I want it to be diff like different colours on mine, I think. What What about you? I don't know. I'm I'm going with the slow fay. You know me. Going to experiment. I'm fussy cutting at the moment, so I'm busy. Yeah, that was something I had to do. Because my eyesight is not great as well, I've got to look really closely, which means when it's at a distance under a camera, I can barely see. I'm all right with general uh, cutting, but fussy cutting. Gosh, this, this paper is very thick, isn't it? Beautiful yes. quality. It is lovely quality. Yes, um, Julie, we've um, been in touch with Sheena. So her lovely 3D printed acrylics, um, she's going to send us some samples because we are going to have a look at um, having some for our kits because we love supporting other little crafty businesses. And we think they're beautiful. She showed us some at the crop, didn't she? Oh, really lovely. And she's got lovely fonts with them. Lovely fonts, lovely colours. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, really lovely designs. Beautiful pastel colours. So we do love that. And I saw some on, posted on the Hive of Scrap. They look beautiful, the new designs. We've got crop in the country retreat coming up in a couple of weeks, haven't we? We have. That's on my calendar. Anybody else got any retreats coming up soon? It's in your calendar. So two things that I don't think I could um, ever go back from now, Deb, in doing cut files is cutter bees and um, Nuvo glue. Yeah. This never blocks. Oh, is it on the same weekend um, stuff? Actually, I think it might be 10th. No. 9th. 9th, is it? Is that the same as the um, daft crop? I think it might be. It's all happening, isn't it? It's all very exciting. Right. I am going to maybe fit another one of these here it'll be lovely because some um, some of you will meet up i know that who you haven't met on you've not met in person before which is lovely similar to us when we were at crop in the country we're like oh i yes, recognize so your nice. name yeah, <laughs> i put faces to names yeah oh, so nice it is nice has anybody got any plans for the Jubilee coming up? I haven't a few. Well, our street is having a street party on the Saturday. Oh, our street which is lovely. We've got like um, a little green at the bottom. And so nice for the children as well. You're going to do a barbecue or just like an American supplement? Just, yeah, just a bit of a picnic, I think. It's at three o'clock. So I was trying to find some like Union Jack hats, but I didn't have much luck because we've got, we've got bunting and face paints. I found in the loft, you know, I've had to clear the loft to have a love ladder put in. 
I found a tin with all the things I was given at the Queen's Silver Jubilee. I've got badges with the Queen's face on. Oh, brilliant. In this little tin. I think oh, it was have to go. <clears throat> Steph just told me something very exciting, which I didn't know. There is a Bramble Fox Jubilee set and a street party one. Oh, how did you miss that? Now, my Fox box might have been dispatched because I've seen the money's come out on PayPal. So I wonder if I can add it or not. I'm going to do that tonight. I'll have a look. That is very exciting. Perhaps, um, perhaps I need to put um, a Jubilee cut file on my list. Oh, yes, please. Yes. I'll write it on the list. I'm what still making my list? Muddy Boots cut file that's taken me three weeks, but I haven't had a Street much... party? Yeah, street party. Maybe Jubilee celebrations or... Platinum? Yes. Because platinum could be for wedding. How long is yeah. how many years is that for a wedding? It's a lot. It's a lot, <laughs> isn't it? Years, yeah. I'm reading some comments here catching up. Oh, is are there themed um Kevin the Carrot Toys? Is that in um Lidl or Aldi stuff? Because I know you get those Kevin toys, they're so cute. I didn't know there was a Jubilee themed Cow's Jubilee mini book is beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, it sold out very quickly and she's managed to source some, but again, that is got a long waiting list. And I was very keen, but I've still got my 12 by 12 book that I haven't finished yet. So I was being disciplined because I've got so many projects on the go. But we have got coffee and a chat with Cal on the 6th of June, haven't we? We have, we have. That will be exciting. Yeah. So that will be on, I think it's on Cal's group or is it on Crafting Together with All Brands? I can't remember. Oh, I'm not but sure. Gonna... <clears throat> oh, 70 years, mm -hmm. Steph. And, um, oh, I'm definitely never going to see that. Not engaged yet, so that's a while off. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Is that the um is that the Bramble Fox Steph, the little set? I'm gonna have to check that out when we finish. Because I'm gonna need that. My mum um always kept newspapers from the events yeah up in the loft years gone by it is nice to look back on though isn't it but then sometimes i think you can keep everything and you never look at it because it is in the loft exactly choosing what to keep and it will probably be the next generations but you have to be yeah as there's only so much you, but then that's why we do scrapbooking isn't it because we're that's yeah. our kind of memory although i found in the loft uh jenny's first shoes i don't think i can get rid of them i don't know what to do with them but oh Oh, I see, Steph. That's the Kevin's. Got it. Ah. That's the Kevin themes. Oh, I love it. Very good. We might have to host a red, white and blue scrappy challenge or something just for the day. Just something. Something regal or something with a crown. Yeah, something that's got to be, yeah, a crown's a good one because I've, I've had um, 
photographs where I've added a little funny crown to photos, and that's quite funny. I get all these little bits out. So we've got some pinks, we've got some greens. I think I'm going to do this large one green. And then I think there's a pastel pink next. Oh my goodness, this has taken a long time. Oh yes, king or queen for the day, that would be so fun. That's the thing about getting lots of photographs. And I remember having my photo taken dressed in red, white and blue when I was about two or three. Well, I don't remember the photo being taken, but I remember the photo. And we were trying to work out when it was for, weren't we, at the crop, Debbie? And we think it yes. was be Charles and Diana's wedding because it couldn't have been the Silver Jubilee. No, because that was 77. 77 so that that couldn't have been so we think was it 77 was it yeah it was 77 i'm sure that's what we said at the crop and i think that doesn't make was... sense then because i've got photos oh no when sylvie came i've got photos of sylvie my french pen friend and we had a street party but that was for charles and diana's wedding which I think was 1981, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you back in your heart? Um, right. In? The so and the back of this one. I've gone for the, the brighter pink, which is the back of this. Yeah. Then I've gone for the green, but I'm keeping these because I'd like to fussy cut these. Yeah. Lovely. So I'm here. keeping that. So I'm just doing that side. And then I'm going to do some soft pink. I'm going to do all three, but I have fussy cut some little butterflies already. But we also have the front of this one, which is a soft pink. So I'm thinking I might use this as um, well. Yes, yes, we do actually. All the things. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, 77 them. was the silver jubilee. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So I think I'm going to trim my hearts now so I don't back too many. <laughs> Save myself a job. Yes, I've marked mine with pencil, Deb, because I'm with you. I don't want to back more than I need to. Well, if I go there and just chop across. Time is of the essence. <laughs> it is. We've got an hour to get this done. Oh, my goodness. Half an hour has gone already. <laughs> We're aiming to get it finished. You might be speed. <laughs> speedy scrap i can't have anything unfinished it really bugs me when they so anything i make i have to finish it i don't know if anybody else is like that but no nope. <laughs> oh can't if i make a back the youtube video i did um i posted it up this week i've now got like three or four backgrounds i'm thinking right i've got to make them into something see i've got loads of backgrounds haven't i, I was showing you the other day going yeah. i've got to do something with these Loads. I find the plain colours work best. Yes. On the cut file. It's quite nice. You don't want too much pattern because the, the paper, although we fussy cut the wreath, it is quite busy, isn't it? There's a lot yeah, going you don't on. Want to detract. You don't want to detract yeah. from the the lovely wreath. The lovely, yeah, exactly. But what about anybody else? If you're um, crafting, do you need to get things finished or would you have several projects on the go at once? I find several projects on the go at once quite difficult. I like to have one. My problem is if I'm doing a background and it doesn't work, I'd rather swap to something else and then I think that will come in another time. And it does. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Margaret, did you like the, the tissue demo? That was good to go back and do. And I dug out the layout. 
and I tried a few other techniques at the same time. I thought, why not? Well, I've got well while I'm in a mess, we did I did the cling film deb that you talked yeah, about. What did you film. use on it? Did you use the Dina Wakely? I actually used distress oxides, but but on a mat and spritzed with water and then picked it up with the cling film. Oh right. Um, I might try do I might try a demo with the um Diane Reevely sprays it. It's slightly different, isn't it? For anybody that um, hasn't seen the YouTube video yet, this is the cling film technique. And then I actually used tin foil on this one. So this is tin foil. Now you'll need the light to catch. I wonder if I turn the light on the camera. Oh. There we go. That's glass bead oh. gel. Can you see? Oh, that's lovely. So I love... I. I I've tried to find glass bead gel. We have a pot of it that we got. Look at oh, that. It's ages ago. Ages ago. I just need glass. I need to get, find where we can, because I'd love us to stock it. So that was that was my bit of fun. So thank you, um, Margaret, for that suggestion. That was a. I do like suggestions, ideas, and things that you'd like to see. Because if we don't know, we can work it out. And have a go. All good fun. That motivated me to, to do some crafting for an hour last night. Good bit of switch off time. Ah, oh, yeah, Julie, it was so funny because I went up to the kitchen. I got I got cling film tin foil. The other thing which is a really nice um, technique to try is a um, bubble wrap. I'm sure lots of you have tried printing with bubble wrap before yes um we should probably also do um a bit of a demo with these are um stamps that we've made i was going to say we should do making our own stamps using dominoes there's all sorts of found materials that you can use for printing so maybe we should do a little one of those Oh, Steph, you do like a mix and match. Yeah, the drying time, I definitely think that's good to have a few things on the go. And sometimes we used to have like our art journal open. So if there was excess, we'd just like stamp into the art journal, wouldn't we? To not waste it. Oh, Rachel, wow. You won a Tonic Studio giveaway, £100. Oh, heaven. Oh, you'll have to tell us what you ordered. So you've gone a bit bit of a mixed media treat. Well, if there's any other ideas that you'd like to see, I've done a bit of a Dina Wakely demo already on there. There's some nice things you can do with the gloss sprays. I'll tell you what I saw today. Did anybody see? Um, Dina Wakely has released some limited edition Birkenstocks. You're kidding me. I am not. They are decorated <laughs> with her painted design. And I saw them and they are fabulous. But they cost an absolute <laughs> fortune. <laughs> imagine um and you if you spent the, that much on them you don't want to risk damaging them do you by painting them and no and she's only made 30 of each and they were 250 dollars per pair how does she know what sizes to make well exactly they you know, what have sizes sizes you choose? yeah or whether they're only like you order them and then they custom make them $250. That's just ridiculous, isn't I it? looked at that and thought, oh, they're nice. No, thanks. Obviously, if we win the lottery. Oh, yes. Yeah. That is a bit bonkers, isn't it, Julie? I was like, crikey. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Rachel, do you mean Nouveau Drops? Yes, there's got to be lots of techniques for Nouveau's. I've got a few bottles of that, so that is, I'll add that on my list. Right, I have done my cut file, so I'm thinking I'd quite like the 
oh I've got that upside down like that and I have got a very small photo for today you've cut yours already Deb sorry you've got cut your cut file off already yes yes so I don't back too much yeah Steph it did get me thinking I thought right that's it yeah I'll buy I'll buy a or even buy a pair that aren't Birkenstocks but I'll just have a go at um making my own I'm sure if you used fabric paints it would be fine we've yeah. got fabric paints haven't we yeah well Absolutely. I've got some yeah I've still got some fabric paints in because we made there. our masks didn't we yeah right I like that So yeah, two hundred and fifty dollars did make me. Uh, I I did have to go on just to have a nose and just to see, but that was a lot. There must be. What are they made of? Birkenstocks. They are leather and they do last for years. So when, there so will be a way. Of, there will be somewhere that tells you how to decorate leather shoes. I'm sure. <laughs> Mister YouTube is bound to have something. Yeah, I wouldn't want to try it on original Birkenstocks because they are about 60 or 70 pounds. Right, I've got some. But if you tried here. it on a cheap pair and it worked, then that's something perhaps yeah. in the future. Right, I've dug out a few bits. So I do have either I've got a Bramble Fox Warm Hearts title. I quite liked this or the middle of this that I might cut up and use, which was from the Jen Hadfield pieces. So I've got that. Oh, I do. I always go back to these, which are the die cut titles. I've used these a few times. Warm hearts. Maybe I have to do a combination. That's nice. Warm hearts. It's another packet out. That's good. I like to, if you use up the stash, you can uh, buy more. That's my motto. <gasps> Rachel, nouveau bargains. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you do know I love a bargain. Oh, Margaret, what did you get? We love Morag. Morag is going to come to our August crop. She is. With a couple of her friends, so we can't wait. Because we always have a real laugh, don't we? Oh, she's so funny. Yeah, we have a right giggle. Right. So you're not going to actually see a lot of the cut file, but that's okay. It's kind of just in the background. Warm hearts. Now, I did fussy cut these little pieces because I thought I could add some of these. This is not like me, Debbie, but I did fussy cut a few. Cool, you bits. did, you? I did. <laughs> Were you really bored sat in front of the telly? <laughs> yeah, this is just before my eyes shut. That's the thing. As long as you don't ever go to sleep with your cutter bees in your hand. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Helen, you've ordered some Bramble Fox bits. That's going to be what I do. I'm going to. I'm going to go on. I'm going to <laughs> step you the influencer. I'm going to be going on to. Uh, no, I can't have two titles, I don't think. Just warm hearts. What a, I think the white more subtle against I don't think it needs two. No, just one. Just just one. And actually that white is just subtle. No, you don't want title overkill. Oh, was it an Instagram giveaway? Oh, I love that. Yeah, Margaret, just warm hearts. Thank you. I think that is the thing. 
I did have this title as well, family, but again, the black is just too harsh. I have to say, I'm using the Nouveau glue for the first time, and how fabulous. Oh, I love it. I have four, four pots. I do have four. Right, trusty ATG gun. It's going to go in because I need to just start sticking it down. Make sure I get this roughly central. Move it over a bit. Now, do we foam dot this? Oh, mm. I think so. The wreath? If, if, in, if in doubt. Hi, Melanie. Ah, oh, don't worry. We are busy backing cup piles and talking about prize draws that Rachel's won and and Nouveau bargains. We, I'm just reading back here. Ah, oh, Melanie, so this is the 49 market papers that we have in the shop called. So this one is Avesta Essence and it is the 49 and market um, art options. And then we are using mm. other bits from it. So we've got this piece, Butterfly Kisses, and this piece. Um, and I fussy cut, I fussy cut lots of little butterflies out. So I'm just starting to put it together. Oh, Helen, have you bought the kit of the Jubilee book or are you going to use your own stash? I love those red, white and blue papers. And I think Cal has only managed to source another 20 sets. So we'll have to let you know where we'll be on the 6th of June so you can come and join us and chat along. So we're a bit nervous, aren't we, Deb? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're being... I don't know how I agreed to it, really. <laughs> Cal asked us and I said, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. That sounds great. And Debbie was like, oh, yeah, we'll do it. I'm normally in my PJs by then. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it'll be a laugh. It'll be a laugh. Oh, yes. You need to keep your eye on Instagram. I know there are some amazing giveaways on Instagram. I'm not quite as our friend Cheryl's good with Instagram. And, uh, yeah, you need to get tagging people in. Oh, that's good, Helen. You've got that pack of papers. Fab. I've still got my 12 by 12 mini book on the go. That's the thing. Right, I've got some little hearts. I quite like this pale pink. It's a really lovely colour, isn't it? Because it kind of complements the cut file as well. some of these I could just use these perspectives on everything maybe not the grey definitely not the grey this a gold muted gold oh yes Steph do you know I found some Portobello Road um, ribbons in my stash this week and i thought oh jubilee i could i could use that right these are slightly gold hearts but I quite like them it's got a slight shimmer to them hmm tuck the photo behind the leaf there. Clusterage, Debbie. We need to build a clusterage. A, a well, clusterage. I've got flowers and butterflies ready for a clusterage. 
Is anybody good at getting there? We, we call it clusteraging, where you're trying to make a little cluster of embellishments and you could fiddle around with it for hours and still not think it looks right. Well, I've, I've only become newly trained to the clusterage, haven't I? <laughs> Debbie says, I need clusterage training. Anybody else who doesn't do scrapbooking would think we're all a bit mad. Well, we are, but it does help, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It does help. I think you have to be mad to work with children, if I'm being honest. Clusterage. Yeah, there's always a name just to keep you sane. So name little nicknames for things. Right, warm hearts, you're going there. I'm just going straight in with sticking things down. I'm not messing about. Right, so we've got little butterflies that I thought I might add for a bit of dimension onto the wreath. That's why you finish things and I don't, because I faff too much. Yeah, and I was naughty because I did a blue Peter. Here's one I made earlier on the um, on the wreath, didn't I? I cheated. That's all right. What other bits did I dig out? I have things like a bit of bunting, but I think this is a no because it's it's not delicate enough. <laughs> oh, Margaret. We do have a giggle, Debbie and I. We come up with some right funny things. 12 hour you could cut things. some bunting out, couldn't you? You could make some bunting with those papers if you wanted to. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure. It's quite delicate, isn't it? I don't know if it needs. Yeah. I, th I think just the flowers and the little embellas are nice. Yeah, we do come up with some funny things, Margaret. That is when we're at a crop. There is always um, some of the names <laughs> for things. Clusterage. <laughs> Probably the Bristolian accent doesn't help too much. No. I listened to a little bit of the YouTube video back to check the sound was okay and the sound of my accent nearly made me cringe. But you're posh up to me. I mean, I'm a it's real fun. potato mum if you think you're bad. <laughs> I can't. I've got a telephone voice. <laughs> Who's got a telephone voice? I think we all have, haven't we? Yeah, you've got to have a telephone voice. It is funny. These are just, I keep going back to this, which is the daydream ephemera, just because the, the tones are the same. Ah, hmm. oh, hi, Adam. Hi. We are talking clusterage. Which is a very technical term. It's a technical term technical term <laughs> did you nearly say that? I can't nearly say something dodgy <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh. That dear. Is I might add these little bits here <laughs> your ears burning yeah yeah, um, it, it does never sound right when you listen to yourself back. I'm sure it doesn't sound that way to everybody else, but just... My friend was telling me she um, listened to something and it's all about the way you your hearing works and the what, way of you your own you... voice. Yeah, that's why you yeah. don't like your own voice because you never actually hear it, how it actually sounds. And then when you do hear it, it's like, oh my goodness. I love that. It's called, it's called a Cupid and Love Angel because you couldn't remember the name. Yeah, just make up the names. I, I mean, you're among friends. And, and you know, then people know what you mean, kind of. Oh, yeah. You know. When you can't quite remember the name of something. Ooh, I'm loving the, the little fussy cut butterflies. So I know this is a bit painful, but this little bit of butterfly paper is just lovely. I was going to cut some of these larger butterflies, but I don't think it needs it. Or does it need one green? Let's see what it looks like. I will try. 
no, I'm no, saying, I'm Adam, it. the voice, not my voice. I was like, what is it with my accent? And a few people have said to me, are you Welsh? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <You could. laughs> but when I have a posh telephone voice, maybe it's <laughs> No, to there's happen. no way, Faye, you sound remotely Welsh unless you're going <laughs> to North Wales where they're posh. Absolutely not. The combo <laughs> of the posh. Posh Bristolian accent. Isn't it funny how we don't like how we sound and yet to oh. other people it does it doesn't it's not a bad thing at all. Yes. Oh dear. It's just how we perceive ourselves, that is for sure. How much fussy cutting have I done? We need Claire Murphy here. She's gonna be proud. So did you cut some of these tiny oh, little butterflies as well? Them. Yeah. Debbie, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those I cut. Oh, my goodness. Well, I have got some very lovely um, little hearts and butterflies I cut out of a cut and embossed die. So I'm going to this out first. That could work. A little bit of press by. Yeah. And then I might have to cut some butterflies. I think I'd like that one there, green. <laughs> we are, we are, Jen. We are our own worst critics, honestly. It doesn't matter whether it's voice or something I put try on or, yeah. We are. I think I'm going to need more of these papers. They are just, that is beautiful to work with. It is just simple, but oh, I haven't stuck the photo down yet. Getting carried away. I've got some tiny, tiny, tiny butterflies. Oh, they're lovely. Um, what are they cut from? That's a Sizzix die. Ones that I cut ages and ages oh, ago. Oh, wow. Put in a bag. Oh, yes. The Tim Holtz one. Yes. That has got to be one of my all-time favourites. Have I got it here? Is it this one? Yes. Oh, it's one of my faves. Oh, yeah. Melanie, these papers I think I love. We, we um, got three or four of these in singles and then we've got the actual paper packs because we are we're not able to stop every piece of every range just because of we're still quite small. So but the paper packs are useful because then you can have a bit of each. We just choose our favourites, don't we? We do. We choose the ones that we think we love and then we hope other people will love them. That is the approach. I am definitely getting to use some of this ephemera. These little... I haven't got much left. I do with buying another pack of these. Hmm, I've used all the other bits. I'm going to put this flower behind here. Mm. Kind of paper does all the work for you, really. It's not. It's so lovely, isn't it? Not tricky, is it? Because mm. the paper is just so lovely. Right, and then I've got these little acrylic pieces I'd like to put on somewhere there. Gold one. What do we think? Oh, that's a good idea, Julie. So you get the eight by six pads. We should probably stop more eight by six because um actually that's good because then you then if you cut them up you don't feel so guilty because you're not cut cutting into a whole sheet. That's and I suppose idea. we make so many mixed media backgrounds, don't we? That yeah, 
but that that's but the paper pads are definitely popular because I think then they're better value and you get just a, the selection across the whole range. Loving Bramble Fox little bits. Right, what else do I need? Yeah, that's true, Steph, actually. The 6 by 8 pads are better for backing cut files because you're not wasting so much either. That is very true. Got a few more butterflies here. I was going to cut another large butterfly out, but I'm not sure it needs it because these are quite bold. The red. Hmm. Let me just cut one and I'll decide. That's it. Eight by six pads. We've got a few eight by six, but um, they're definitely handy. You don't feel like you're wasting a whole piece of paper. Oh, Deb, that's a good title. Is that just um one from your scan and cut machine? No, it's actually from um Kaiser Craft Collection. I don't know where I got this from, but it's got some flowers in. I don't know if the flowers are a bit bright there. They're this colour. Doesn't really. It's a bit bright. The little butterflies are lovely. Photo-wise, where have I put my photos? Ah, oh, yes. Um, Rachel, we tried to restock the four bloom kits and they were out of stock from the supplier too. Really popular. We got all the ephemera pieces, but those collection kits are fab. Um, that is proving to be a really popular range. That's from Simple Stories, isn't it? Right, let's see. Is this one? So I was thinking... Hmm. There's my paper trimmer gone. Because then these little butterflies, I was going to just have a couple coming off. Not too many. Oh. One up there. I've got this tiny little pastel one. Go here. I'm not far off finished I reckon I need to find the right colour kind of ephemera to add some more bits I think the little beige butterflies will work but I don't want to cover this up too much that's probably about it let me just hold that up and see because i need to know when to stop because i would keep i would keep adding i think i've stuck it all down probably doesn't need a lot more but that that's just the paper doing most of the work to be honest and a bit of fussy cutting i think i'm going to need to get some more of these that is quite enjoyable oh do you know what i was going to use Oh, I got so carried away. I was going to add some of these leaves, which mm. are the 49er Market rub-ons coming off of here, but I'm not going to now because I will ruin it. I needed to put those on before. But that coloured palette... Oh, that matches perfectly. Well. Or I have actually got this, the 12 by 12 rub-ons, and actually that is the same color tone so actually if i was going to do it again i might have even put a little 
little bit along the bottom there. But I needed to put that on first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Debbie's daughter there, Margaret. Perfect photo, Debbie. Yeah. The perfect. I'm wondering about cutting some of the scraps into little leaves and adding them as extra. Oh, yes, bit of dimension. Yeah. But, yeah, I think if I was going to do that again, I could probably could have got away with some little leaves rub-ons there, but it doesn't need it. Save those for another one. They can definitely be used for another layout, that is for sure. That is looking great. So is anybody else doing any crafting or is it uh, just a bit of chill out time? <laughs> all these bits away right i'm gonna to have to find foam dots that somewhere. is beautiful it's so that, isn't it i like mm -hmm. also those um little butterflies that you've got is that um sort of craft Are they yes cut? craft card stock and a plain kind of beige but this is um a cut and emboss so it, it gives them they've got texture as well I don't know if you can see. I think I've got that little die. Is that a little Sizzix? Yes, a cut yes. and emboss one. And they give such beautiful detail. I've used those loads. But somewhere I've got some very pale pink ones, so I'm not going to put lots on that don't colour coordinate because it will annoy me. Or I might yeah. cut some more out of this paper. I think cutting some more out of this background paper will just really finish it off yeah imagine exactly. some cutting this worth, worth taking the time yes yeah, yeah i think i'm gonna do that good idea oh jen you're working on a mini album so we're five hours earlier where are you um jen where are you watching from we've got quite a widespread crafting community now which is lovely yeah it's uh 9 p.m. here, so it'd be time for some veggie in front of the TV, I think, now. Oh, I think so. The kettle is oh, calling wow. Ontario, Canada. Amazing. Ah. Oh, well, thank you for tuning in. So we will be back same place, same time next, next Thursday. Oh, thanks for joining us, everyone. Thank you. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye.